Hey everybody, what is going on today? My name is Buddy Blackford and this is another After Effects CA6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the many ways you can apply your animation presets to your um, whatever you're using, actually. So what we're gonna start out with is just this text. And uh, we're gonna create our own animation preset from scratch so we can basically start out and know what we're doing already so my animation preset is just gonna be um, like a position move so let's uh, animate the position of this and I'll just make it go across the screen a little bit and then I'll do something like a rotation let's uh, make it just like turn in or something like that oops like this is good so this is gonna be our animation preset so I'm going to select all my uh, keyframes and properties and I'm going to create a new preset out of it and this is going to be our, um, we'll just call this one a test so I know that I can delete it later. So that's our, this is going to be our preset here. Now one of the ways that you can apply the preset which I have showed you uh, before is by uh, going into the animation presets section here twirling down into the user presets and we'll apply by dragging onto the text or we can drag onto our layer either or so now our preset is is uh, made and it uses the uh, position values and the rotation values um, from where our current time indicator was so that's one way. So there are six different ways as I said before. The next way is to uh, come up here into our animation menu and we can go to recent animation presets and this will have ones that I've used before or I have saved and uh, we'll come here and press that. Make sure you have your uh, layer selected. Oops that just created on the solid because I didn't have the layer selected like I was just telling you to. Recent animation presets and click on the one that we just made and there we go for that. Now control Z to get that off. Make sure I have my layer selected again. And we'll go to animation and then we this time we can go to apply animation preset and pick the one that we want and hit open and there we go for that. Now apply animation preset is good for if you have some in a different folder and you need to navigate to that folder. So if you don't save them in the user presets folder you can navigate to that uh, a different folder that you have. So we'll get out of that. We can use the hotkey which um, is a lot of different keys. It's got a total of four, four keys. Control, Alt, Shift, F is the hotkey so control alt shift f and then it'll that'll apply the last animation preset and um, if you're on a mac that's going to be command option shift f so I'll take those off and the the last way is to come into your uh, effects and presets menu here and double click on the um, on the effect you want and it'll automatically apply it on there and actually I just thought of another way that you can do it um, by using the Adobe Bridge application and this will work if you have your presets saved in the uh, uh, user presets folder so if we go to animation up here and go to browse presets it'll bring up Adobe Bridge and then uh, we've got our uh, presets here. We're gonna have to uh, let's go to support files and see if the user presets is in this one. Um, where is user pre user presets is under my documents. So my documents, Adobe, After Effects CS6, user presets, and then we've got our presets here that we can add. Double click and it'll add it that way. But um, Usually Adobe Bridge, I just use that if I want to see the uh, 
the uh, animation presets that already came with After Effects because they have like little previews on them and you can see what they actually are. It seems like kind of a hassle to do it through Bridge um, to just put on like your own user preset when all you have to do is come over here and just like double click on it or something like that. So another thing that I'd kind of like to show you while uh, doing this here um, where we're at putting uh, presets on is uh, I'm just gonna uncheck some of these and in a preset adds um, animation or things like that to your layer it doesn't replace everything so if I let's, let me add an effect on here make sure I have my layer selected and I'll add one that I know I haven't used yet um, let's just put on this echo and let's add our preset the blur and bulge to it it added the presets on there instead of overriding the presets that were already on there so that is a plus and will help you out um, when you're using that so there you go zombies ate my brains so let's uh, end the tutorial there seems good enough you know how you know all the different ways well it seems there's a total of seven different ways to add your animation preset remember that control alt shift F is the hotkey and um, I mean that's a pretty ridiculous hotkey but if you like using hotkeys like that then go ahead be my guest so see you guys later in the next tutorial hope you guys keep on watching and thumbs up if you liked see you later